this is honestly the most important thing that you need to learn and get and concrete in if you are serious about creating a life that you're crazy about. I don't care if the goal is to create millions of dollars. I don't care if the goal is to attract in the love of your life. If the goal is to have kids and a home and whatever it is, this one thing, if you can get that, the rest takes care of itself. Hey guys, Stephanie Sinclair here, neurometaphysicist, and I help bridge the gap between science and spirituality so that you could live a life that you absolutely love. I've been living this life, not just teaching this life. I've created two highly successful businesses, one multi seven figures, one multi six figures on its way to being scaled to a hundred million dollar plus company. And so I live this life. This really is who I am. And today I want to have a conversation with you about really what, what the key is to that. Like we make all these videos, we give all these insights, we give all these tips, but what is at the core of everything? And this video was inspired by a lunch I had today. And we were talking about like, what is that magic thing about me? And why are people attracted to me and this conversation that we're having, right? And I was talking about my energy and they said something, I'm like, this is true. And it led me to this video and I was like, let's, let's dive in. So one of the things that people ask me all the time is that why are people attracted to you? Why is it that every business you create, people are there, people show up, people are in it. And I always knew it was me. It was my energy, but a better word is my congruence. I am congruent. I am exactly who I am, whether you're seeing me here on video, whether you saw me on the stage, whether you came to one of my events, whether you saw me in a grocery store, I am exactly who I am am and I'm very congruent I don't teach a thing and live something else I didn't teach a thing to learn a thing I lived a thing and then once my life produced the fruit then I began to share it with other people after not even just because after I went back and got my master's degree and PhD so that I could come with the science and the spirituality background to teach you not just from my life but from what I know educationally I live a congruent life and a lot of people don't get what the congruence is. And what makes you congruent is your self-identity. Early on, I never had the problem with this identity of I wasn't good enough, I don't deserve it, all those things. But ultimately, that's what a lot of people are dealing with. If you are looking to have a life where everything you desire is yours, where you have everlasting love with a romantic partner. You have friends and connections and a network that is always there for you and supportive and loving, loving kids, a home that you love, the money, the business, or the career you, you want, the specific corporate position. Your identity, how you identify your self-concept is the most important thing. And so even if I had little things within my life that I needed to kind of kind of fix my beliefs around, my self-concept has always included, I'm worthy and deserving. I am worthy and deserving of whatever is good. I recently made a video talking about the fact that... Um, that everything God has me for me is good. I ultimately believe that everything that's good in this world is available to me and I deserve. I don't believe that there is any worthiness quotient that needs to be hit. I don't believe that it has to look a certain way. It has to come a certain way. I believe that I am absolutely worthy and deserving because I am made in the image and likeness of God and everything that's God is abundant. I truly believe that. And so it's very important that you develop a self-concept, that you create an identity that aligns with what you want. See, a lot of you have low self-esteem 
you are still dealing with and not even trying to heal from things that have happened happened in your childhood, things your parents have said to you, your civic leaders, something another little girl or a little boy said to you in school, you're still dealing with that and you allow those things to paint and color who you are and paint and color your self-concept. And ultimately, if you have this underlying belief that you're not worthy of a thing yet, like you know you want to have this thing, but there's something you have to be in order to attain this. You won't have this even if you see yourself with it. These are the little keys that when people are talking about manifestation, they're missing these pieces because it's a misalignment that's there. You have to literally see your, yourself as the person who has it, is deserving and worthy of it, full stop, no questions asked. So how do you begin to lean into this? Or how do you even know if this is an issue? If you're a person who look at other people and say, oh, they don't deserve that. Or if you have a person that uh, see something and you're like, rich people are evil or they don't deserve it. Or you see a wealthy person and you're like, oh, but they don't help others. In your mind, see, we judge other people based upon our conditioning. We judge other people based upon what we see is true. I have literally never looked at a wealthy person and said, oh, they should be giving their money away. Why? Because I don't see a should around anything. I don't believe that there should be a certain way that you should handle wealth if you're wealthy. I don't believe that there's a certain way that you should handle your marriage or your partner if you're partnered. There isn't a should. You are worthy of the love of your partner, period. You are worthy of wealth, period. Even if you never give any money away. Even if you never do anything good for another person. And a lot of you, you color what you receive in your life with these stipulations. And you know you color it because when you look at other people who have it, you put your perceived uh, stipulations on them. You project so what your heart really truly feels and sees is true. When you think about it consciously, you may say, oh, I don't have any. I think I'm worthy. I think I'm deserving. I don't think that there's a stipulation. But when you see someone else with it and they don't live up to what you think they should, that's when you can really see what the murmurs of your heart is. That's when you can really see what your programming around that thing is. And all you got to do is like, when you see something on social media, go to the comments, see something about some, someone wealthy, go to the comments and you will see literally 90 to 95 of the comments will be conversations like, oh, they don't deserve it. They don't pay their employees good enough. Um, they don't give enough of it away. You can see a post where they've literally given something away and people will say, well, about time, but they really should give more because the murmurs of your heart come through and your judgments of others. We know what your heart really truly feels. We know what's going on in your subconscious based upon your judgment of others. So when you have a self-concept that you deserve all good things just because you are not projecting onto other people, well, if you have this, you should X, Y, Z, because you know there is no should. You know there's no should, period. You deserve wealth because you deserve love because like, think about it. Like, think about if you see someone, I see, I see this regularly on social media and it's quite disgusting. If you see someone that you feel maybe isn't attractive to you, if you see someone who maybe they're overweight or underweight, and you see them with somebody that you think is super attractive. If you go to the comments, it's always, oh, they must be with them for fill in the blank. Oh, this must be for press. Oh, this must be for blah, blah, blah. Because you even put conditions on who's deserving of love. We literally put conditions around everything. And the reality is everyone is deserving of love just because. I don't care how pretty or how ugly you see them, how fat or skinny you see them, how mean, how hateful you see them. They deserve love. They deserve love. And this is when you can see your own prejudices with other people 
they're actually about you. So then you feel like you have to look a certain way in order to deserve love or to deserve love with a person that looks like the person they're with. The, this is how you know you have developed that. And so first thing is to go back to the core of knowing that God lives in you as you. And if God lives in you as you, there are no conditions around God. God says something was, and it is. God didn't say, let there be light only if it's between these hours. God said, let there be light, period. God said, let there be stars in the sky. Not let there be stars in the sky at night, because the truth is stars are in the sky all the time. Let there be sky, stars in the sky. You have to recognize that as God living in you, as a holy being, as a holy creature, you're deserving of all those things, the sun, the moon, the night, the day, the dark, the night, the day, the light. You're, de you're deserving of everything, all the abundance that there is for you, just because God says so. And when you can work to develop this self-concept and work to develop this identity of all good things are for me, because God lives in me as me, we'll quit projecting those judgments onto other people. And we will begin to actually have all things because we're one with those things. There's no conditions to these things. They just are. So that's the goal is to, is to work to see ourselves, see an identity of ourselves as a person who it's not like this cute idea that they have success. It's not this cute idea that they have love. It's not this cute idea. They have an amazing family. It is just because. And when you work towards that, you'll start seeing those things really be in the physical 3D easily. All things will start coming to you. I notice that the more I get into a judgmental place, the less it feels like I'm getting blessed. And I have to come back and remind myself of who I am and whose I am. Then there's nothing to judge. And the blessings resume. So if you found yourself not really creating in the way you desire, or maybe you have been and it seems like it's starting to dry out, check yourself, check your judgments. Judgments of others is judgments for yourself and check the conditions you've made around the success, conditions you've made around the health, conditions you've made around the love. Where you find the conditions, that's where you have created this identity of it has to look like this and you're not good enough. What if you had one place that you could go where you can get subliminals, you can get affirmations, you can get trainings from me all about the subconscious reprogramming, manifesting, and creating. Well, I have created just that. It's called Your Rich Life app, and it is free for basic level membership, which has multiple hours, literally, I think 15 hours of trainings available to you right now. Again, it's called Your Rich Life app. At the moment, we are only on Apple in the app store. Trust me, we are working on Android, Google Play Store right now. If you have Android, then there is an opportunity for you to join online. Go ahead and get your account set up until the app actually hits um, the app, not the Apple, the Android store, the Google Play store. So all you need to do if you are on Apple and you're in the Apple store, you just look up your rich life and you should see this pink little icon, Why? RL and download it. You need to actually set up an account. You can download it and get access to like something very small. But if you really want access to the app, you need to set up your username, password, and put a picture there. Hop in the chat room, the discussion room, introduce yourself. I'll hop in. I'm in there every single day. Access the trainings, access everything that's there for you. Again, it's subliminals and affirmations and trainings and so much amazing 
community. And then there's also an opportunity to join the Founders Club. So those of you who want more access to me and more access to even more affirmations, morning, daily affirmations, a private podcast, subliminals, even more trainings, there's an opportunity to join that as well. So again, I'm very excited to introduce this to you. And if you notice a lot of the videos disappearing here on YouTube, it's because that's where my library of content is going. All right, till next time. Bye, guys.